Hey everybody, my name is Alex, and in this video I'm going to kick off the Ultimate Space Mesh Setup video series. I am sharing right now the Substack post, which I haven't actually posted yet, but I'm, kind of, I'm going to kind of use it as our introduction here. Uh, a lot of what I write in here I'll just speak about here as well. That way you don't have to read through the Substack article if you don't want to. Uh, you're more than welcome. Sometimes there's some extra information in there because I think of it while I'm typing. I'm much better at typing things out than speaking about things uh, on the fly. So to give you a little introduction, this setup is my personal Ultimate Space Mesh setup. I understand everybody has different hardware, everybody has different knowledge. You might know how to do things better than I do and you're welcome to of course make any modifications to these uh, you know to make things more efficient for your own setup this isn't really a one-size-fits-all deal but hopefully this at least gives you the knowledge to adapt some of these things to your own hardware and your own knowledge so how I have this set up is we're gonna really go through everything so we're gonna talk about generating the post data we're going to talk about setting up Ubuntu, setting up all the metrics, Grafana, and then of course the Go Space Mesh nodes at the end. That's kind of the last thing we set up. Uh, so let me just scroll past here. Uh, yeah, so post creation. So we're going to go through the generation of that. I use a dedicated GPU host, and I'm going to be plotting with my GPU over the network using Samba as a file server for my hard drives. And those hard drives are actually going to be on the main host already. I do this, uh, I used to actually have this hard drive like attached to the GPU, GPU host and then I'd move it over to the main host physically. But it was a pain because I'd have to turn off this main host. I don't have like hot swappable drive bays or anything like that. So it was such a pain. And then when I started having nodes earning rewards, I'd have to try and time turning off all the nodes. Uh, it just became a hassle. And this, because of how slow you actually generate the post data, like a 4090, you're only using like seven megabytes per second over the uh, network. Most networks you have like a gigabit uh, and you're not actually like going outside the network. If you're doing it over Wi-Fi, you might slow down your network, but if you can hardwire it, um, you're really not going to be stressing your network much. Now, if you have a GPU farm and you're, we're talking about, you know, a gigabit, per second worth of, of data transfer, yeah, you might want to think about either upgrading your network if you have that big of a GPU farm or just uh, you know physically moving the drives or just moving the GPU over to the main host and then pulling it out when you're done. There are so many different ways to do this, uh, but I'll be using Samba over the network plotting to my main host and I'll go over how I set all this up in this tutorial. And then of course, I'm saying, of course, a lot. Uh, I'm talking about the main host here. Uh, we're going to go into setting up everything. Most of it's going to be on the main host here. So we're going to have our nodes on Docker, and Docker is installed on the host. We'll have a container for Prometheus, container for Portainer, a container for Cadvisor. We're going to go over how to do all of this. Then on the host, we'll have some file structures that we set up here for our config and our state. And then we have our post data files here on our hard drives. This should say 02, not both of them is 01. And node exporter is actually going to be a service running on our host. So it won't be a container here on Docker. And this is a broad overview of the different videos. So we are doing the introduction video. And this is the introduction article. In the next video, we're going to be building the foundation of our ultimate setup. That means setting up Ubuntu server, setting up Docker, setting up Portainer, and setting up Prometheus. And we'll deep dive into each of those and how to get those set up. Then we'll work on metrics, and we're using Node Exporter and CADVisor here to publish metrics. Node Exporter will be for your host metrics. These are for your container metrics. And then we're going to set up Grafana. And Grafana is a, it's a really cool application that allows you to build dashboards and you can ingest data sources. And that's where Prometheus it, uh, comes into play here is that's going to be a data source for our metrics and we'll make some really cool dashboards. And at this point, we haven't done anything with nodes uh, and you'll actually get to see, we'll create some, uh, when we don't even create, we just import some dashboards for node uh, exporter and CAD visor 
and we'll view those on Grafana before we actually get into our nodes. So Article 5, uh, Video 5, that is going to be when we start working on our nodes. So we're going to set up that folder structure. We're going to mount the drives. Now, if you already have post data, it's going to be a little bit different than if you don't have post data and maybe you're mounting fresh drives that have no data or maybe drives that you uh, have some data on but you need to reformat. I highly recommend only storing post data. Uh, this And this article and these videos really only go into storing post data on drives that aren't your root file system because we're going to be formatting things. So just take note if you have uh, your post data on your root file system, maybe you have like a four terabyte hard drive. Um, it's really not recommended, but you got to work with the hardware you have. You'll be totally fine as long as you're not filling that uh, root file system completely full with post data. Stacks on stacks. So <laughs> this will make more sense when we get there. Uh, but we're going to have a stack, which is basically just the portainer version of a Docker Compose. And we're going to start building out our nodes on there. And then we'll set up our space mesh dashboard. And at this point, we'll have all of our nodes running and publishing metrics. And we can view them in the space mesh dashboard. And really, you could stop there. But we're going to cover a few things that you might have done. Let's say you've already run Go Space Mesh, maybe just installed directly on your host PC, and you're used to having access to gRPC curl or gRP curl, and you can you're set up public and private nodes. You, you are used to updating that node and getting logs. We're going to cover all that for Docker because it is a little bit different. In some ways, it's better. In some ways, it's different. Uh, there's a lot that uh, we need to cover just so you feel comfortable using this setup. And then lastly, Hulk Smesh. We're <laughs> you're really smashing as soon as you start running your nodes, but we're talking about generating post data here. And we're going to go over the architecture of that, how to set up Samba, how to mount the Samba drive, running post CLI. Actually, uh, this should be generating uh, post data because I, I the term smesh, I guess, is kind of interchangeable with uh, like generating post data and running a node in general. Um, but really, we're generating post data here. And if you're just doing one drive, maybe you just have one drive on your uh, node that you're putting post data on, you can kind of stop there. I'll show you how to remove Samba, remove the uh, user and group and all that stuff so that there's no potential for like security concerns long term. There's not just a bunch of stuff on your system that you don't need. And then, uh, well, that's actually if you have no more drives. If you do have more drives, I'll show you how to basically now switch to sharing the next drive and hooking up your uh, post-generation uh, GPU host. So there's a lot going on here, and it's not as complex. I mean, we're gonna go, we're gonna have seven videos here, including this one. And uh, everything step by step is written out. So I actually already have these all written out. We'll jump into the next one, which is foundation. And you, as you can see, we have like all the commands here. I go over things. I've got screenshots in here. So you, if you haven't used any of this stuff, it's fine. I never used it before I started learning it. So it's not a big deal. Uh, it's not something that you should be too worried about. Uh, but keep in mind, you're probably going to run into problems and you're going to have to do a lot of Google searching. Uh, hopefully this guide will kind of get you on the right uh, path to setting something up like this. All right, I'm going to end this video here. The next video, we are going to go over the foundation of our ultimate space mesh setup, and I will see you in that video.